In this short video, I am going to show you through e-views that how log linear, double log or constant elasticity models can be estimated. So let me tell you uh, in a very few uh, minutes, a very short time, how we can uh, we can do all that process. So let me start with a, a, a very basic background of Cobb Douglas production function. Cobb Douglas production function, a very famous production function being extensively used in literature, uh, can be write as uh, uh, the format as shown to you that's qi is equal to beta 1 li power beta 2 and then ki beta 3 where q stands for the output level, l stands for labor and k stands for capital and beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, these are the parameters of the uh, of this particular production function. Now, I wouldn't go for too much of detail of this production function, for that you can check your uh, microeconomics book. Uh, I will just look at the estimation part of it. So, if we look at this particular production function, it's very clear that it is not linear in parameters because the parameters are in power of label. Uh, these explanatory variables so we can't apply OLS method however applying some mathematical tool we can convert this model to a linear form and then we can estimate that through OLS so how we can do that it's, it's very simple and straightforward first of all we take natural log that's ln on both sides of this equation shown so when we do that we get ln of qi that is equal to ln of beta 1 plus now whenever you take a log of something that is written with uh, uh, with power you can bring the power and start and write the log of the function itself like we have written ln of lib power b2 could be write as uh, b2 into ln of li similarly uh, ki power b3 when it, the ln of this function is taken it could be written as b3 or beta 3 ln of ki or we can write it as ln of qi plus uh, is equal to ln of b1 could be replaced with a constant a and then plus the remaining function explanatory variable with this betas and then the error term being added to it. Now this form become a linear in parameter compared to the initial model which was written as a Cobb-Douglas production function. Now this linear model can be estimated using OLS. In this video I am going to show you how we can estimate that. So in order to estimate this model we need the data. So uh, the data which I'm going to use is taken from US manufacturing sector. This data is covering 50 states including Washington DC. So there are 51 observations and it is from year 2005. So it's a cross-sectional data. Also the three variables which we are going to use in this include output which is measured as a value added in thousands of US dollar, then the labor input worker hours in thousands and then capital input or capital expenditure in thousands of US dollars. Now I'm going to demonstrate that how we can do this in eViews. So let me open eViews. So once we open eViews, we go to the file, we import from file which is located in my computer on desktop. So I go to the desktop, I select this data file, it includes three columns, output, labor and capital and it also has the number of observations being counted. It is 50 state and Washington DC, so in total 51, normally you don't see more than 100 if you have more than 100 observations so you can see in this window only the first hundred. I will import this so standard procedure so once I have imported all my data is now in my work file I can see here output observation labor and capital now 
to calculate the constant elasticity model I just showed you it need output labor and capital all three in ln format or in the log format so for that I need to generate output variable the log of output the log of labor and the log of capital so I will start with output variable so for generating log I go to object then I click on generate series here I, re I name the variable which I'm going to generate so it's ln of output that is equal to then I write at rate of log so that's the function which will take log of output when I do that I click OK I generate ln of output so I will just confirm that this variable has been generated correctly so I open the output the original variable and the ln of output as a group when I open it I can see that the variable indeed is generated and it's happened for all the values so that means I did it correctly now I can do the same procedure for the other two variables so I will generate ln of capital and ln of labor so for ln of labor I generate series ln labor is equal to at the rate of log labor and click OK similarly project generate series sorry object generate series then ln capital should be equal to in the right of log capital and click ok so now I have ln of output ln of labor and ln of capital my three variable of interest so I will open these three as equation because now I want to run a model I want to see them just uh, listing these values like Excel sheet then I can open it as a group but since I want to run a model so I will click on the equation so now the first variable is output ln of output that's the dependent variable then I want my constant here and then the first variable then the second variable so this C is for constant I will take here from here and will bring it at the start then I have ln of labor and ln of capital I will select the method of least square and all the sample should be included so I will click OK and here you go this is my results now if we look at these results it's very clear that the dependent variable was ln of output 51 observation was included in my regression and the sample was also 51 so there is no missing value and no issue all the data has been part of uh, the model estimation when I look at the variables so I have ln of labor ln of capital their corresponding coefficients respectively listed and then the constant term and its coefficient so I can see here uh, their standard error t statistics and probability values as well for ln of labor I got 0 0.468 coefficient value with a standard error of 0 0.0989 and the t-statistic of 4.73 and the p-value of 0, 0.00 so this shows that my labor variable is highly statistically significant which means the beta values associated with the labor is not equal to zero it's statistically significant even at less than one percent similarly same hold true for capital as well then we can also check the overall fit of the model with f statistics which is 645.9311 and it is also highly statistically significant indicating that overall model fit is good then we go for r square which is 0 0.964 that's also a very good value because it's very close to one now coming to the interpretation part of it the coefficient of log of labor says it's 0 0.468 so it means that if labor is increased by 1% the output will be increased by 0.468% now check the difference in double log 
models, the interpretation should be in percentage. So the beta shows the percentage change in dependent variable and independent variable. Whereas in simple model, it's a unit change. So here the unit of measurement is percentage. So 1% change in labor brings 0.468% change in output keeping capital constant. Similarly, we can interpret the R square value of 0.96 represent that this model explain 96%, 96.4% variation in the output which is a very good R square value. Thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you.